Welcome, glad you're with us. We begin today with a call to worship from Philippians 4, 4 through 7. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer, petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 4 through 7. lost in the darkness of sin the light of the world is jesus like sunshine at noonday his glory shone in the light of the world is jesus come to the light is shining for thee sweetly the light has dawned upon me once i was blind but now can see the light of the world is Jesus. No darkness have we who in Jesus abide. The light of the world is Jesus. We walk in the light when we follow our guide. The light of the world is Jesus. Come to the light, it's shining for thee. Sweetly the light has dawned upon me. Once I was blind, but now I can see. The light of the world is Jesus. Ye dwellers in darkness with sin-blinded eyes, the light of the world is Jesus. Go wash at his bidding, and light will arise. The light of the world is Jesus. Come to the light, is shining for thee. Sweetly the light has dawned upon me. Once I was blind, but now I can see. The light of the world is Jesus. Sunlight in heaven we're told The light of the world is Jesus The Lamb is the light in the city of gold The light of the world is Jesus Come to the light is shining for thee Sweet be the light has dawned upon me Once I was blind but now I can see Bye. 
pray with me loving father blessed lord we ask your spirit to descend on us today fill us surround us comfort us if we are ill strengthen us if we are tired fortify our spirits if we are anxious Help us to consider the lilies of the field and the birds of the air. Help us not to look at things around us and close our minds and our hearts. Don't let fear cause us to overlook the needs of others more vulnerable than ourselves. Fix our eyes on your story and our hearts on your grace. Help us always to hold fast to the good Lord to see the good in others. And remember that you are our hope, our everlasting love. We pray all these things in the blessed name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen.
with sunshine, or its skies may turn to gray. I don't So 
the Holy Ghost is given, coming on us from on high. Blessed quietness, holy quietness, what assurance in my soul. On the stormy sea, he speaks peace to me, how the billows cease to A fruitful field is growing, blessed fruits of righteousness, and the streams of life are flowing, lonely wilderness, blessed quietness, holy quietness, what assurance in my soul on the stormy sea. He speaks peace to me, how the billows cease to roll. What a wonderful salvation, where we always see his face. What a perfect habitation, what a quiet resting place. Blessed quietness. Holy quietness, what assurance in my soul. On the stormy sea, he speaks peace to me, how the billows cease to roll. Do you feel the shadows deepen? But do you know that all the dark won't stop the light from getting through? Do you wish that you could see it all made? Is all creation groaning? It is. is a new creation coming? It is. is the glory of the Lord to be the light within our midst? It is. is it good that we Remind ourselves of this. Is anyone worthy? Is anyone whole? Is anyone able to break the seal and open the scroll? The Lion of
Isaiah, chapter 40. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service has been completed, that her sin has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Do you not know? Have you not heard? Has it not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood since the earth was founded. He sits enthroned above the circle of the earth, and its people are like grasshoppers. He stretches out the heavens like a canopy and spreads them out like a tent to live in. He brings princes to naught and reduces the rulers of this world to nothing. No sooner are they planted, no sooner are they sown, no sooner do they take root in the ground than he blows on them and they wither. And a whirlwind sweeps them away like chaff. To whom will you compare me? Or who is my equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes and look to the heavens. Who created all these? He who brings out the starry host one by one and calls forth each of them by name. Because of his great power and mighty strength, not one of them is missing. Why do you complain, Jacob? Why do you say, Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord? My cause is disregarded by my God. Do you not know... Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. This is the word of the Lord. Stand amazed in the presence of Jesus Christ. 
the Nazarene and wonder how he could love me, a sinner condemned unclean. How marvelous, how wonderful, and my song shall ever be. How marvelous, how wonderful is my Savior's love. Not my will, but thine. He had no tears for his own griefs, but sweat drops of blood for mine. How marvelous, how wonderful, and my song shall ever be. How marvelous, how wonderful is my Savior's love for me. He took my sins and my sorrows, he made them his very own. He bore the burden to Calvary and suffered and died alone. How marvelous, how wonderful, and my song shall ever be. How marvelous, is my Savior's love for me.
Thanks so much for being with us this week. We'll see you next time.